The subject for today's video is aluminum, welding aluminum. We've already gone through the process of setting this 275 up. So here we are. Our gas is on and in. Our power is on. We have our TIG torch ready to go. We have our foot pedal ready to go. And our ground clamp is on the table. Just like we did for welding steel. Most everything on this machine to weld aluminum is the same as steel except for a couple little things. So let's turn this thing up. Now to go from steel to aluminum, it's very complex. We're going to need to get a dump truck in here and a couple backhoes. Not really. Here's what we do. We're ready for aluminum. Basically that's all you need to do. We need to switch the polarity from DC negative to AC. Now we're ready to weld aluminum. It's amazing how easy that is, huh? If we look at this now, over here on this control, it says alternating current, AC, and the light is on. So what this dial does is if you set it in the green, the machine balances the sine wave. It balances the amount of DC positive polarity and DC negative polarity, and that's about a 50-50 balance. If we're welding aluminum that's a little bit older and we need a little more cleaning action, then we can turn the dial a little bit more towards cleaning or we can turn it a little bit more towards penetration. But for now, for you, the best place to start with this is AC and auto. That's about a 50-50 balance. Okay? Everything else on the machine is pretty much the same. We're still doing TIG welding. We're still using a foot pedal. Our amperage works the same way. And again, the pulsation, these controls, the Hertz control, the percentage of time on, the foreground currents, the background currents, this stuff is going to be in a different video that gets a little bit more into the operation in the machine. This is a little bit more advanced stuff that you're going to get into much later when you get into your higher level welds. But to go from steel to aluminum, again, we go from DC negative to AC, put your balance on automatic, these do a great job of it. We're down on TIG, we're on the foot pedal, and we set the amperage. And that's basically the only difference on this Lincoln 275 between welding steel and welding aluminum. We're changing polarity, we're changing filler metal also, but the gas is the same, the pedal's the same, everything's the same. The tungsten is the same, the torch is the same, the polarity has to change, our amperage might go up a little bit. The balance is on auto. That's all you need to get started. Your instructors will show you these controls when you get a little bit further into your aluminum welding. 